welcome to your beauty oh welcome back to the channel it's great to see you again we are back to what we do best this week we are unboxing not completely unboxing i've got two unboxings for you and i've also got something to show you a cheeky little pickup as well thought i'd share it with you as well before we go any further if you do like what you see and you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get regular updates like the video comment share it around i really really appreciate it so let's get to unboxing i trust you've all watched or listened to the sabutio show it's our new channel a collaboration between myself westwood table saga sabutio online and what's the sabutio art where we talk of course sabutio it's also available on podcasts as i said available on all good podcast providers including apple which we're quite proud of but on the last episode if you haven't watched it we were talking balls complete and utter balls and we was going through and we was talking about the best Sabutio ball. In the end, we decided the best Sabutio ball was going to be the ta Adidas Tango. Of course, you're all saying it to me already. But as we was going through it, I realised there was a couple of balls I didn't have. And I thought to myself, you know what? I need these balls. I need to get these balls in my life. So, I have said balls here. One of them sent to me via David Hunter. Thank you very much for that, David. We'll come on to that one in a second. But the first one has got a little bit of a story to it. It's quite a rare ball. It's the first ball that was made for Sputer with any sort of branding on it. And I found it on eBay, advertised as a cake topper. A cake topper, of all things. So here we have, oh, it's in bubble wrap. So we continue the unwrapping. I can't undo it. I can do this right up close for you. Oh, can't I look? I can't get it out. Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna break it. <laughs> I generally can't get it out. Where's the logo? I want the logo to pop out to you. We've got the Arriva ball. The Arriva ball. And you may know, and you may know this as well. Yes, I've only got one. But I've always a cake topper member. That's why I've only got one. But if you've listened to the podcast or listened to or watched the YouTube video, you'll know we were talking about what the hell is this brand? Where did it come from? We now know the answer. And Stephen, Stephen Sabutio Online does a cracking blog. He's a part of the Sabutio show. He might get the up with me for this. And Stephen, I apologise if I'm stealing your thunder because I'm sure you're going to write about it at some point. He found out what this ball is. So, I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is because we're all wondering who are Arriva? They're a bus company, right? They're nothing but a bus company. I'll tell you exactly who they are. So, excuse me if I'm looking down because I'm looking at it. So, Jakari, who licensed the sets in American Silk, now do homeware. But anyway, they distributed the American sets. They registered this as a trademark in America. So you're looking at my phone. They registered this as a trademark in America, but the NASL, the American League, it collapsed and fell out of nowhere. And we think this was a brand that they were they put together this brand to put on products. But obviously, with the league falling apart, it died, and that, it ended up just being that. So the only time you'll ever see an Arriva ball, unless you know otherwise, let me know in the comments. Send me pictures on social media. That's the only place you're ever really going to see an Arriva ball in Sabutio. Which is why I had to have one. Cake topper. It's not a cake topper. It's a beauty ball. Onto the table it goes. Well, half light. You guys won't be able to see that, but. No, it's very light. But we have another one. We have another ball. This very, very, very kind donation from David Hunter. David, thank you so, 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 so much. Let's have a look. One envelope goes to another envelope. The Samba ball. It's another ball I didn't have. Do you know who made the Samba ball? It was a Deodora Samba ball. You're all screaming at me. You all know this. You've probably all seen it in the thumbnail if you don't. Oh, look at that puppy. Look at that, David. Thank you so, so much. Deodora Samba. Or as I said on the podcast, Deodoria. Deodora Samba ball. It's only one very, very kind donation. He's got millions of balls. Apparently, he plays more than he collects. Wow, I really, really appreciate that. Two new balls. Let's have a quick see how it rolls. Sounds a lot better. See, you can't hear that, but... Just dropping them. Just dropping them. That feels better quality than that. That feels hollow. Two new balls added to the collection. But that's not all. That's not all for you this week. Roll them onto the table. I've made a cheeky Facebook purchase. Who doesn't love a cheeky Facebook purchase? So the other night I was sitting there thinking, right, I need to put my wanted list back out and put it on the website, as I do. And as I was going through, I realised I didn't have a Sheffield Wednesday side. So, you know, just cruising along, weren't looking for Sheffield Wednesday. A lady, not too, not, not too far from me, five or six miles away, was selling a set with one of the teams that I put on there, Sheffield Wednesday. I messaged her, she was sending it all as a bundle. I messaged her and said, look, do you mind just selling the side? Give you so much for it. She was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. 
Drove around there, lovely, lovely, lovely lady. She was telling me about all this stuff. She's been sending loads of stuff for a boy who's been moved out for years who doesn't want it anymore. You don't care about that, you just want to see the sign. Anyway, she was she was a lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Said she's had loads of people saying they want to send it, she didn't want to send it. And then I turn up, live down the road, want it. I didn't take the whole set, I didn't want the whole set because I already had it. She had one of the 60140 sets, and obviously I've already got one and didn't need it. But she let me buy the Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday, 746. I didn't have it, it went on now. Put together the want list of all the teams I wanted, and we've managed to get one already. It's nice when that happens. If you're interested in seeing the wanted list, it's on the website, sabutiocollector.com. There is the Sheffield Wednesday. It's a nice kit, you know what I like about this? Hold it there so you can see it. But the yellow trim. It's a really, really, really nice yellow trim on it. I suppose that would have had a sponsor on it at some point. Sheffield Wednesday fans, if you're watching, what year was it? Was it the year we'd done the cup double? Was it the year Arsenal did the cup double over here? 93? If it was, I've got that kit from the Arsenal. We can reenact it and Arsenal can win it again. Hey! Lovely. Bung that in the collection. Absolutely fantastic. Bung that in the collection. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, buzzing. Two new balls. Where's one? One gone. There it is. Two new balls. You can't see them. Two new balls. One new team. Cheeky little unboxing. Oh, it's a beauty. That's what we love. All these teams, we're going to grow it up. Make it even bigger. I want to make that wall full and full of teams. I will be. Oh my god, I just noticed the poster's falling down. Stick that back up later. I'm really grateful for you for stopping by and joining me today, continuing this journey with me. Pure nostalgic joy. You never know what we're going to see. I will catch up with you all very soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notifications. I will see you very soon. I've got more unboxings coming. And until then, keep on flipping.